Okay, K-pop group Blackpink criticized for disrespectful use of Ganesha. Okay, the immensely successful K-pop group uh, has come under fire recently for their uh, recently released music video titled How You Like That. In the video, one idol by the name of Lisa is seen sitting on a throne with the statue of the Indian god Ganesha placed on the floor next to her, which is seen as immensely disrespectful to the deity. Hindus believe that the statues of gods should always be placed on high surfaces. Lisa was also wearing shoes near the idol, which is also seen as a sign of disrespect as shoes are strictly not allowed near statues and temples. Many Hindus have now taken to social media to demand an apology from the entertainment company behind the group and a removal of that quick shot um, from the music video entirely. Oh, please don't. Please so don't. So this remove. is what was hilarious to me. <laughs> okay. Because K-pop stands are some of the craziest people on this planet. B- battling against Hindutva. <laughs> So it's like two of the most psychotically sensitive groups on this planet <laughs> battling against each other to see whose fan base will win. So I mean, this is hilarious. They have, they have done some shit recently, K pop stats, even for the BLM movement. <laughs> and yeah, I love K pop, I love Blackpink. I mean, I watched the video before the news came out, and I didn't notice the statue. I watched the video after the news came out, didn't notice the statue, and then I paused frame by frame to search where, where the fuck the statue is. So I, I don't know how these people even noticed it. I literally don't. I watched it, and it's such a short flash of her sitting on the throne being like, blam, like, you know, just being all sexy yeah. and pop idol-ish and you have to look so closely to see the statue next to her it was so wild but i'm just ready for this battle i'm ready for this online battle because black it, pink stands will threaten your life okay and so will hindu well, no wait wait hold on hold on no no guys, BDS, guys, BDS no, no, no. Wait, guys, guys let's <laughs> be clear do not threaten anyone's life susanna what no. are you trying to do, do i'm not, not threaten... saying that anyone should i know I'm saying but that... <laughs> I know, they but will. people are going to think they that that's an endorsement. Do not threaten anyone's really? life. Yes. No. People are I'm, I'm not endorsing I this. I know you're I'm not. Saying... I'm just clarifying. For you, people who I do mean, not you don't know. don't even know like, what BTS fans did to Liam Payne on Twitter. For real. Okay. So for I'm just explaining. For people who do not know about right. K-pop fan culture, if you don't know about K-pop fan culture... They are. I'm gonna well, say it. All, they're psychotic. They will, they will go after exactly. you. And I'm not saying that this is okay. People. This is not okay. And I do not endorse that behavior in any form. I'm just explaining that this is how I have seen them react time and time again to even the most yes. mild criticisms okay. of okay. their idols. Okay. So two questions. One for sure. Palm as a. a Oh, actually, you both you're both K K pop fans, right? I'm not really. Okay. Um, okay. So both questions for Shapam then. First of all, um, is this a big deal in Hinduism to wear shoes yeah. next to? Yeah. Really big deal. Even yeah. the most moderate Hindus won't tolerate it. Even the most moder uh, most yeah. what? Moderate Hindus. Moderate Hindus would not tolerate this. They, these people are men. This is why uh, every day I'm more, con- more convinced that hen- that Hindus are more sensitive than Muslims. Um, but, yeah, here's the thing. Uh, okay, uh, first your second question, and then I- my second question is like: Would the K-pop community would they be like, oh yes, please remove this. This is um, insensitive, or would they be like, no, fuck you guys, do not change uh, the anything. Indians- there are some Indian blinks, like B- blinks are the black fans, they call themselves blinks. And they are, uh, some of them are saying like, yeah, remove it, it's just less quick pull. But I think the vast majority is saying like, no, that's not this. Okay, so this is this is war. This is, they're not going to. Yeah, this is what, war. Are, what are the chances that, the, that uh, black pink is going to remove that part and apologize? I don't think they will. I, mean, oh, <laughs> I hope they Please don't. do not. Please do not give in to this mob, okay? Please. I mean, uh, okay, um, so 
what I wanted to say was like, yeah, uh, this is not the first time something like this is happening. Uh, clash. I mean, uh, before this is. All right, we lost. Oh wow. no! It's okay. It's okay. We lost them exactly where we need them. The, the uh, short problem is in India, so sometimes the power goes out. Um, wow, it's so interesting that his lights went out before his internet, so we got one shot of him before <laughs> before he lost. Let me let me remove him right now. The ghost of Chopin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, so he said was if the power goes out, he's gonna come back in a few. Maybe it was the Hindu flash. No, um, don't even say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, I was gonna say I actually. I I tried um, enjoying. Oh, here it is. Before he, before sh- oh, let me mute him. I actually tried to enjoy K-pop, but the only one I liked was Blackpink. And you yeah, got, they're you like think, I think one of the most successful groups in the world. Well, I mean, it's a whole bunch of Asian girls, so you can see why I would like that. Yes, it's quite easy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is why is Shopham is back? Shopham. Yeah. Okay, I had a power cut, so I'm using my phone's internet. Okay, That's say it fast before you lose data completely. Say your comments fast. Okay, no, I'm not losing it right now. But yeah, so what I was saying is this is not the first time this is happening. Like this has happened before with anime in the nineties. Uh, the Jap- Japanese, like there was a Japanese guy who wanted to make an anime on Ramayan. Like, <laughs> we, you know, everyone knows who Ram is by now, I think. Uh, so he, he was fascinated by the story and he said like for the 40, I think it was the 40th anniversary for Japan-India diplomatic relations. They decided to make the make an anime movie for that case. And what happened was like the Hindus, they were like furious. They were saying, "No, no foreigners can make movies on Indian DDs. You cannot make a cartoon animated movie to carry catch Indian DDs." And it was fuck. And Wait. They, at first, they thought they would produce the mo- animated movie in India with Indian voice actors and everything, but because of the backlash from Hindus, they decided uh, to produce the movie in Japan with American voice. Actors. Well, okay, so let me let me translate Shobham Shetty accent for who, people who didn't understand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, the, <laughs> wait. We're like, getting canceled. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Why do you so, gotta make my life so hard as CEO, man? <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, Shobham, you're saying that um, Japan tried to do anime on Hindu deities? They and have they, doing it. They have done it, but the Indians said, "Indians said, like, please do not do this because you, this is not awful. please, no please, do oh. not do this." <laughs> All right, okay, no, okay. Please. And even even back in 2015, they in yeah. Dragon Ball Super, they had a character which resembled Ganesh as the god of destruction, and the Hindus were again mad about that. Like, okay, okay, um, but this is very interesting because Japanese people don't give don't. This must be foreign to a whole bunch of Japanese people because they love it when foreigners. Take up their customs, and like try- actually, it is in their culture as well. Ganesh. That's uh, that's another oh. thing I wanted to talk about. <laughs> right, it's not like the Indians don't even own it. Like they Japan even has- even Lisa. Even this is the Korean Lisa. Group, though. No, no, no but Shopam is, is, Shopam is talking is about Thai. how sensitive the Hindu yeah. people are. Lisa is Thai, and Thai in Thai Ganesh is again in Thai culture. Yeah, no, and but the example. Just- Oh my god, wait. Okay. So, the example Chopin was giving was from Japan just to clarify how sensitive Hindus are. That's what he was trying to do, mm. right? See, I get you, Chopin. Um, Susanna doesn't get you, okay? We get... But okay. yeah, but yeah, this is what I also another thing I like about Blackpink. I like people think about these like sing, um, K pop singers, a bunch of people like one dimensional that don't know about you know shit about anything. And then I look into, I you know, look into these girls and they're like. They like this one of them speaks Japanese, English, Thai, and I don't know a whole bunch of other things. Like, holy crap! And the next one speaks five other languages, and the other one speaks four languages. Like, what the hell? How is this? And I guess, like, how you guys, like, you know, so I was very impressed, anyways. Yeah, I mean, uh, Lisa is the one with five languages, (laughs) 
five languages yeah that's pretty crazy yeah, like the one and yeah this another thing like uh, okay so first in the scene which was shown it was actually the scene actually wanted to convey like the arabs how when they looted india they didn't consider this gods as gods or anything so they didn't have the value of the gods so they would just keep it anywhere like that was what was conveyed in the scene like the throne it was like the arabs with the genie lamp and everything and that's okay. one thing and another thing okay what uh shrimp before people before people get angry at me you don't make you don't mind me making fun of your accent right no i don't really <laughs> See, I just want to clarify because a lot of people think like, "Oh my God, don't stop being so abusive to Shopam every time." I'm like, "There, I'm." I mean, I'm I make fun of your accent, but I don't make fun of the accent in front of you. Oh yeah, no, I I tell people I I'm racist to Shopam on purpose so that he. <laughs> no, I am because because he gets a lot of transphobia, and I want him to get distracted by people being racist towards him sometimes. So that he, I mean, so he keep, I mean, he can be like we are the same race. Technically, no. we are the same race. How, how dare Aryans. you insult me like this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are not an Aryan. And no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I am Aryan. Kidding, kidding. Oh kidding. my god! If you think it's bad while we're live, you should see things behind the scenes. All right, let's go. Let's. We're losing. We're getting no, off track. Okay, no, no, no. So what? What I wanted to say about this news, like uh, there are countless atheists. Uh, mostly in the West, uh, even here in India, like who think Buddhism, Jainism, these are like atheist religions. They don't have a god or anything. But that's not real. We never got to talk about it on the channel. But this is a good opportunity to talk. So how this deities like Ganesh and other Hindu deities spread into the Eastern countries like Japan, South Korea, Thailand is through Buddhism, through the spread of Buddhism, because Buddhism got these deities from Hinduism. They mixed in with the culture of those countries, and they had their own versions of these gods. And Buddhism, in Buddhism, even in the text, Ganesha is worship. I we lost we lost Shabham again. Uh, power, okay. power cut. Are you back? Yeah, again. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. 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 Um, okay. okay. We we need to move. We need to move to the next story. I just want to really quickly read a comment by Sujata on this news item. Uh, he or she is saying, "Yes, that's India for you. We torture, abuse, and kill elephants who are actual living beings in the name of tourism uh, and religious processions, but get offended by this." So Ganesh, the elephant god. So yeah. So apparently, okay, okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, should we go to the next news? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, United... Shopam, Shopam really seemed to like want to say something more. Shopam, you're good. Oh no! I was I was just about to like complete what I was saying. So Buddhism okay, yeah, is not oh. an atheist religion. That's what I want to say. But okay, say that again because I was talking over you. Buddhism is not an atheist religion. It has gods. You don't yeah. know about it, but it has gods. Okay, good, good, good. You you offended a whole bunch of atheists by saying that right now, but it's okay. Um, all right, next news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You we think is no, and oh, look, like, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff, we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So, to solve that. Link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So f that. 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 